<laughs> oh, look at you, Aria. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Oh, look at that, Aria. Some some wet paws enjoying some enrichment on this beautiful Friday here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Lauren Kramer coming in hot with 200 stars. What an awesome way to enter the live post, Lauren. Thank you for that. I see Jim Brill is watching. Hey, Jim. That's uh, Bobcat Mondovi, Eurasian Lynx Aria, enjoying uh, a little enrichment spread that has been placed for these two. Uh, Sky and Celine are getting access as well. Those two had uh, some tuna spread around their habitat for them to enjoy. That's right, Lauren. Treats. Good afternoon, VJ Allison. Good to have you from uh, New Jersey, Jim. I got to get on the other side of Aria Mondovi's habitat to get a better look at things. Sky and Celine also just had access. I'll be able to catch up with them. We got a lot going on here. And uh, not only just with the cats, but just around the sanctuary. You guys would have heard uh, Tammy's live post announcing some new rescue news. Uh, I highly uh, urge you to check that out. If you did miss that live post, she went live earlier this morning. Uh, and then our uh, Food and Wellness Center fundraiser has concluded. So I get to give you a thanks in person. We posted a thank you this morning. Um, but here is my uh, deepest and uh, most sincere thank you to everyone who stepped up over the last month uh, to help uh, hopefully help us reach our goal. And admittedly, we are very optimistic that we uh, not only reached our goal, but practically knocked it out of the park. Um, so, so happy that you guys were able to step up and uh, create uh, this new, or I should say transform the, the old prep room. Hey Maria S, good to have you. Hey Nancy Hill. I gotta find Aria. I'm sure she's probably found something stinky and is rubbing on it. We not only have a little pool like you see uh, Mondovi's scented in Richmond. Hey Jocelyn from Texas, good to have you. Let's see, where's, oh, <laughs> right when I was going to find Aria, Mondovi starts digging around here. Susan Warner says, I think that water is cold. You're right, it is. You can see the ice cubes that Mondovi's batting around. Those are also some frozen apples that were in there. And now it's kind of an embarrassment of riches. He says, up from the pool, now to enjoy some stinky cardboard that was placed here for me. And holy cow, that's right, VJ, that today is Canada Day. So happy Canada Day to all of our Canadian followers. Um, definitely hope you have a splendid weekend. Independence Day for us here in the States this weekend. Let's keep on greeting the folks to our live post today. Happy Friday, Anne. And uh, you would definitely have a safe holiday weekend as well. <laughs> Mondovi's certainly enjoying his uh, scent on top of his cave here. I'm going to go uh, uh, walk over and see if I can catch Sky and Celine forging their tuna at all. And then I need to find uh, Aria, who I believe has found her own little uh, area to enjoy some scent and enrichment. Let's see. <laughs> I, see I see Celine on the case. And one thing you're gonna notice about the, our uh, habitats for our rescues that are climbers, like our bobcats and a lynx like Aria, is all the spaces for them to do exactly that. So I see uh, Miss Celine kind of contrasted against a web of, of skywalks and perches and platforms, all areas for uh, a bobcat like her who would love to climb in the wild um, for her to express those uh, tendencies. And, Unfortunately, these two not able to live a wild at life, um, able to live a wild at heart life here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. By the way, Terry Newborn, happy uh, Canada Day to you as well. I know that we have a, a lot of supporters uh, in Canada, so we love uh, that we're able to celebrate that with you guys. 
and welcome if you're just joining us everyone it's a beautiful friday here at the wildcat sanctuary uh we have concluded the food and wellness center fundraiser i uh was thanking everyone for that we also had a live post earlier this morning where tammy uh, the executive director and founder of tws shared um, some rather important news uh, regarding future rescues that are happening here at tws um, and uh, so i'm going to I encourage everyone to check out that live post. I even need to rewatch it um, to be filled in on some of the information um, because the rescue world can move very fast here and very swiftly. And fortunately, we have your guys' support that helps us keep our general operating fund full um, so we can then act swiftly and quickly. Holly Winscott, Shazam on my wall, July calendar cat. I love it. I love, love, love it. Chizzy Lovell asking, did you get my stars? I'm sure Molly and Jamie would be able to determine that, uh, Chizzy. Sometimes I can lose that in the chat, but uh, thank you for sending those stars. I'm certain, I'm certain that we did receive them. Glenda McSwain says, finally made it. Glad to have you, Glenda. We're enjoying a uh, pleasant live post with uh, some of our rescued residents here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Mondovi, last time we left him, he was enjoying uh, some scents on top of his cave and it looks like he is doing, uh, still doing exactly that. Uh, Karen Daughtry, I know that the witness protection case, um, we will not be able to reveal the location and where Tammy and uh, Kelly are traveling. Uh, and I will have to do some due diligence on mine. Mine is not a rescue case. Mine is a rehoming case or a, a witness protection case. Um, it is a rehoming case. And so I need to hone in on some of those details and don't want to speak out of turn before that. Um, but I do know that I'm going to be able to document um, our journey as we always do, like we've done for Bruno, like we've done for Shrek um, and uh, some of the other rescues. Um, so you can look forward to that next week. Uh, Elise and I would be departing next Wednesday. So you most definitely will be filled in um, before then. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, Linda. Oh, understand you're going to be busy next week. You are right about that. And uh, we have that rescue news, and we're also um, going to be sharing some other kind of exciting news pertaining to the Food and Wellness Center fundraiser, which we just completed, Mondovi. And uh, I'll tell you what, saying Food and, and Wellness Center fundraiser every day, multiple times a day, it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's a lot more to chew on than something like Miracle Match or Give to the Max, where it's easy for me to get it off of my tongue. Uh, how many times did Judson stumble over uh, saying food and wellness center fundraiser in the past 30 days? <laughs> so I appreciate everyone's patience there. Looks like Sky and Celine are communing uh, on a skywalk way across their habitat. I'm going to see if I can get a different angle on them. <laughs> Celine's making her way up uh, to a scented tube. And one thing that you'll notice about Sky and Celine is that they look pretty darn similar and might be hard to distinguish from one another. Um, my biggest indication between the two is the overall color of their coats. And you're really gonna see how red Celine's coat is, who's right in front of me now, as opposed to, to Sky. And if you're new to TWS, Sky and Celine um, have a little bit different of a story than some of our other rescued residents, um, but nonetheless tragic. Uh, Sky and Celine were actually found um, by hikers uh, who thought that these cute little uh, wild bobcats were cute and wanted to take them home uh, to try to have them as a pet. And uh, most likely mom was uh, not far, maybe just around the bend hunting or um, you know doing something along those lines. And those people picked up these cats and uh, once Sky and Celine started acting like bobcats, um, these people wanted nothing to do with them. And uh, having lived with humans, Sky and Celine had then imprinted on humans and would not be uh, suitable candidates for a wildlife. 
and uh, definitely incredibly unfortunate because you know here at the Wildcat Sanctuary we want all animals to be living wild and free uh, and it's a shame uh, that uh, the selfishness of humans uh, forfeited that opportunity for Sky and Selene. Um, but it's definitely something worth educating on and fortunately things like the HSUS um, has r some really great articles about how to identify uh, a wild animal um, that's in distress and if it's in distress and does it need your help or does it need your help or does it not and should you intervene or should you not. Happy Friday everyone! It is a happy Friday indeed. We have concluded uh, the Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. We have uh, announced some exciting rescue news and uh, whenever we're able to say yes um, to another wildcat in need and this time it being more than just one wildcat, um, that always, always, always serves to me um, as examples of what we're capable of accomplishing and being able to bring uh, a wildcat in need to a compassionate forever home here at the wildcat sanctuary and not just one but multiple and for us to be able to do it at the drop of a hat um, now that is something special and something that uh, you guys all all deserve so much acknowledgement for for what you allow us to do here and enable us to do here at the wildcat sanctuary Let's scroll through some comments. Thank you, VJ, for posting Sky's bio on our website. It's a very sweet comment, Tanya Toner. Thank you for that. Nice breeze today indeed, Wendy. I'm loving it. Um, and uh, we're fortunate, uh, fortunately, we have uh, some uh, lucky winners of a uh, tour during our, uh, that would have been our last Jungle Boogie before... Um, the pandemic, um, where we have uh, two uh, lucky individuals who are here to enjoy one of their experiences that they purchase in an auction. So it's a great day for them to see the cats and enjoy some Minnesota weather, Mr. Mondo. Yeah. Yeah, Goofy. And th oh, thank you. Distance. Hopefully it reconnects. Let's see. I was going to talk about Mondovi, but my connection kind of dropped out there for a moment. I'll zoom in on him here for a second. Trying to reconnect here as well. That's no fun. What's up? Oh, hi, Miss Sky. There you are. It's always hard to keep up with you and your sister. We. Uh, affectionately call these two the Energizer Bobcats, as you can see. Uh, they are pretty electric, <laughs> uh, moving to and fro across their habitats in the blink of an eye. It also just goes to show the agility that these wild animals have. Hey, Lori S., finally alive! Happy Friday! Happy Friday indeed. It is uh, a great day and we are so happy to have you live with us, Lori. We're thanking everybody um, for uh, participating in our Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. Whoa, very cool uh, kind of matrix jump there, Sky. <laughs> They're both going after the scented tube that was placed on their bed and I was hoping that they would. <laughs> And of course, there's another tube right there that's been scented, but it's got to be that tube. Sisters will be sisters. <laughs> yeah, there's the other tube. There's the other tube, Sky. You goofy. And of course, that's one of our fire hose beds. Uh, we were... Uh, really innovative and lucky to have um, some fire hose donated to us. And uh, we have uh, been able to repurpose that into things like toys, things like beds, uh, all types of hanging hammocks uh, like you see here. Uh, really, really cool and a great durable 
uh, kind of predator proof uh, way for our cats to get comfortable and really weatherproof as well. And I uh, can just tell that Mondovi is also behind me uh, rubbing on scents. I saw someone uh, commented, those bobcats in their scents. And that's, you know, ultimately I think that the, the differences outweigh the similarities, um, but it is really entertaining to see the parallels um, between uh, a wild cat and how much they enjoy things like a box and cardboard and scent um, versus our domestic cats at home. It's, there is uh, something to it that's, that's pretty entertaining. <laughs> oh, is that the good stuff, Miss Sky? Let me see if I can get a good angle with you. Yeah, is that the good stuff? A little cinnamon or pumpkin spice, I think it was, and a little perfume, and you are in hog heaven. Lauren Elizabeth Lynn saying, that video y'all posted yesterday of Winona uh, lolling in the grass. Now we know where Dash gets his hard head. Uh, she did have a little head head knock there, but that's not too uncommon. And, and uh, I was actually taking that video and it sounded louder than it actually was in person. Kind of an awkward angle here, but just to give you some perspective, I'm right up in the corner of Sky and Celine's uh, habitat. They uh, have pretty much lapped up all the tuna that we've placed on uh, their skywalks and perches and platforms. And now that the tuna has been taken care of, it's time just to settle down and enrichment. And I've been keeping the, to see her. I'm not sure where she ended up. And unfortunately, I keep on running into a poor connection right there. I do, uh, I do think I saw one of the peppers out, so maybe we'll go over there. <laughs> look at, look at you, Goofy. Oh, brother. Yeah. Lisa Parker, I really like that comment. Um, we're talking about the similarities and differences between our domestic cats at home. Uh, and saying enough similarities that makes me not understand wanting a wildcat. Domestics have all the fun and silliness, but bites, etc., and are way less dangerous. Exactly. I mean, that, I uh, we I think we can all uh, attest to our cats at home being, you know, quite the uh, effective predators in their own rights. And uh, I can I can tell you that. Excuse me. Little Miss, um, but she's got nearly two inch claws and uh, about an inch and a half long fangs and can do lots of damage and deserves to be respected as such. <laughs> you keep enjoying yourself, Missy. We're gonna go head over and see which, uh, which of the peppers are out. Hope everybody's enjoying their Friday. Happy Canada Day. And uh, for us here in the U.S., happy early 4th of July. We will be out uh, of the office. Uh, the office staff will be uh, out on Monday. Obviously, we'll have the uh, caretaking staff kicking butt here because they, uh, after all, are staffed here at the sanctuary 24-7, 365. Um, so there will not be a live post on Monday, um, but certainly... Um, still give your, your applause and, and cheers and kudos to caretakers who will be working on um, a pretty darn fun holiday, the middle of summer, and, and uh, it's beautiful out. You want to get out outside and enjoy that, that uh, water on the 4th of July. Unfortunately, those caretakers are going to be caring for the cats, and we so much appreciate it. Hello, Mr. Howe. <laughs> Oftentimes, uh, Ava Howe. Bell will try to give you the puppy dog eyes by their lockouts because they know that the lockouts are where they're fed. That's not my job, Mr. Howe, but I know the caretakers are going to be coming for you soon. <laughs> yeah. And that was Ava on top of her skywalk.
Love the Canadian flags, Lori Papp. Uh, lucky enough to live uh, in northern Minnesota and have spent uh, a fair amount of time in uh, northwest Ontario as well as uh, various parts of Manitoba. Love, love, love Canada. Hey, Nomi Gerhard, thanks for watching and thank you for sharing. Ooh, I like that fact, Hinata. On average, one serval will eat 4,000 rodents a year. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, and you'll notice that um, those servals have those very long and skinny arms, which is going to help them reach down in any type of holes or hollows where they'd be able to find any, any of those rodents, which is pretty cool as well. And certainly those ears that are massive and that are going to be able to hone in on any of that prey that's underground as well. It's even cool to see those ears working right now. Yeah, look at you, Mr. Howe. Let's see, Dari is asking about Mr. Chili, and Mr. Chili is doing okay, and I know uh, that you're asking any word if he'll get back to his family. And I know that there uh, are future plans for Mr. Chili, and I know that, uh, I, again, I don't wanna share too much information. We're sharing the update on Fiona and Bruno today, um, but we're going to see if perhaps those three would like to form a surrogate family. Um, so again, none of that has been finalized. I'm the lowly social media person here at TWS and uh, want to do my best to accurately convey all of uh, the updates and information. So Daria, you'll have to let me confirm that and uh, we'll obviously update sponsors accordingly and then Facebook. But I'm glad that you asked that question and um, certainly are, are always wanting the best for Mr. Chili, be that back with uh, the rest of the peppers or a new surrogate family for him. Yeah, Mr. Goofy, I'll get, aw I'll get away from your lockout because you think I have food. I'll get away, mister. I'll go check in on the, on the Bobcats uh, that we started with, Sky and Celine and Arya Mondovi, and I think, I think we might wrap that up for a Friday, everyone. I'm happy that everyone could tune in today. I am going to encourage you to check out Tammy's live post that she did this morning. We had some breaking rescue news happen. She and Kelly are hitting the road. Uh, they probably have already hit the road uh, and are on their way to the airport. Myself and caretaker Elise will be departing next week. Um, and all, um, all details that we'll be able to fill in. Tammy is going on a witness protection case, which you guys know we are very limited uh, in the information that we're able to share. Um, but most definitely that's a live post to watch and uh, just staying glued to our Facebook page pretty much over the next eight days here, like you heard Tammy say, um, is going to be a, uh, a smart thing to do because lots of things are gonna be happening here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. <laughs> There you go, Miss Aria. <laughs> Scrolling through some comments. Okay, good to hear, Daria, and, and thank you. That's great to hear that you sponsor both Chili and Bruno. That, that makes me happy. <laughs> a little bit different of approach in between Aria Mondovi. Aria very stoically kind of standing on top of the bag as opposed to Mondovi being a total ham and rubbing all over it. <laughs> well, everyone, I'm so glad that we got to connect on a fun live post. And look at this. I feel like there weren't any clouds when I started and now it's, uh, it's uh, partly cloudy and and even more beautiful out than it already was. Um, but I appreciate everyone turning out for the Food and Wellness Center fundraiser. It's been one heck of a month. Construction has already begun on uh, Kitu's Kitchen, so you can look forward to seeing updates uh, on Facebook of that. 
And uh, again, stay close, everyone, uh, because lots, can, lots is going to be happening here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And uh, we uh, obviously want you to be involved because it's your support that makes it all possible. Um, so enjoy your long weekend, everyone. Happy Canada Day. Happy Independence Day to everyone here in the States. And uh, thank you so much again for doing all that you do for the, rescue, or for the rescues at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Are you going to make it hard for me to sign off, Aria? She says, I might. <laughs> Just a little bit longer, Goofy. All right. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you again.